I want to thank my colleagues for this honor. I'm humbled to lead this board, particularly at such a pivotal moment for our public schools and the communities we serve here in Los Angeles. It is my promise to serve as a president who is centered on our students and families above all else, especially during this dire and extremely difficult time for so many in our school community. For our families who are struggling to provide for their children and ensure their academic and emotional well-being, who often have no choice but to go to work to cover rent and bills, knowing they are risking their own health to a virus that has devastated communities like mine. For our staff who are working so hard and around the clock to support our students and families and combating challenges far larger than any we have confronted in the past who are teaching, tutoring, providing food, diapers, devices, and school supplies, cleaning our campuses, serving as a critical safety net for our greater community. For our students, whose resilience and strength of spirit inspires me every time I visit a Zoom classroom. From our kindergartners eager to unmute to practice their letter sounds out loud with their teachers, to those high schoolers who are developing new digital rites of passage. Our fundamental charge as a public education system is to ensure that our students learn, grow, and thrive. We can only do this if we meet their holistic needs. The pandemic, the economic crisis, and the ongoing reckoning for racial justice has unveiled the deep inequities that govern opportunity in our community and our country. And never has the work of our district or this board been more important or more challenging. We must take upon ourselves the chance to remake our public education system with students at the center and driven by the cause of equity and social justice. This board must be relentlessly focused on student learning and work efficiently and urgently to meet the holistic needs of our children and families. While continuing the commendable supports we are already providing to our communities, we must build a roadmap to recovery that finally confronts the shameful systemic inequities and transforms our schools so that every child is loved, supported, and learning. I believe that despite being a diverse group of seven people, we can set out a clear, ambitious vision for our district with goals that drive our superintendent's strategic plan, our efforts to support and evaluate him, and support the work occurring in our schools, communities of schools, and local districts now during COVID and beyond. Our board conversation should be aligned to those priorities with meeting time devoted as much as possible to the biggest challenges confronting our schools and our students. With a regular focus on our goals, chances to learn from the many stories of success within LA Unified and honest reflections about the places where we must do better. As we as a board pursue this shared vision, equity and anti-racism ought to be the through thread. The black and brown students that we serve cannot thrive in a system built to undermine their promise. As a board, we must lead with equity in mind and confront the racist vestiges in our public schools from discipline practices to curricula, to resource allocation, to staff development, selection, and placement. That means in every board decision, prioritizing our most historically underserved students, including our black and Latino students, students experiencing homelessness, students in foster care, English learners, and children with disabilities. I identify with our students because my story is like many of theirs. I grew up the daughter of an immigrant mother from Peru. She is the inspiration for all of the work that I do. When I was young and we were struggling economically, my mom went back to school at the Pocoima Skills Center, and that forged a path for her and my family onto more stable ground. Watching my mom work on vocabulary flashcards every night at our kitchen table taught me that education is a lifelong endeavor and a gateway to opportunity. Her example put me on a path to be the first in my family to go to college, and my family's belief in my potential helped me to persevere even as I worked multiple jobs to pay my way through. So many LA Unified students will graduate this year and they too will become the first, but not the last of their families to enter the gates of higher education. My mom is now working in a hospital in the middle of this pandemic and continues to inspire me every day. I'm grateful to all of my family and especially my two sweet baby boys for supporting me and constantly inspiring me to do more and better for the hundreds of thousands of children who attend our schools every day. Because of my mom's sacrifice and love, I became the youngest woman ever elected to this board and now the youngest woman ever to lead it. My mom and I are an example of the life-changing nature of the work that we do. That is even more true today in the midst of this crisis. 
I believe in this group of people and our ability to rise to the challenge that this moment presents us. I look forward to working with each member of this board to develop our shared vision and to drive towards supporting learning for each and every student. It will take all of us. Our students, families, staff, and communities deserve our everything. I know that with our discussion, disagreement, and focus, we can meet this moment for our students and our families. Es un honor dirigir esta junta durante un momento tan difícil para el distrito y nuestras familias mientras manejamos esta pandemia. Para nuestras familias que están luchando por mantener a sus hijos y asegurar su bienestar académico y emocional. Para nuestro personal que trabaja tan duro todos los días para apoyar a nuestros estudiantes y familias. Para nuestros estudiantes, cuyos fortaleza de espíritu me inspira cada vez que visito una clase por Zoom. Debemos asumir esta oportunidad para rehacer el sistema de educación pública con los estudiantes al centro y enfocarnos en la equidad y la justicia social. Mientras continuamos apoyando nuestras comunidades, debemos buscar una recuperación a largo plazo de esta crisis, una que finalmente enfrenta las desigualdades en nuestras escuelas y las transforma en lugares donde todos nuestros niños son apoyados. Creo que, a pesar de ser un grupo diverso, podemos crear una visión clara y ambiciosa para nuestro distrito. Juntos debemos dirigirnos con equidad en mente y enfrentar los vestigios racistas en nuestras escuelas públicas. Espero trabajar con cada miembro de esta junta para desarrollar esa visión compartida de nuestro futuro. Gracias.